with the number of players still in Paris with the big league club, who can really stand out tonight and help this team win? They get the ball inside, a big power dunk for Chris Silva. It'll be interesting to see how Pargo does, because, you know, like you talk about just signing nice pass. him. About, and you notice how he's very... And they go, try to go inside. That's Malik Ellison taking the pass now on the switch. They dump it inside. Shot blocked inside. Really good play by Freeman Liberty. If he's taking the time with his free time to watch a lot of film and get these plays down. Nice pass inside. Armani Brooks able to score off the pass from Silva. Really good execution. And that second jump, being able to get off the ground quick, pick up the loose ball and lay it up. Langston Galloway on the drive. Gets the shot over the top of two defenders. Knocked to the deck. He'll get the foul call as well. And now it's Lazaric Jones, also played at Simeon High School. So we've got a couple of Chicago Simeon grads on the court for Henry Dumarsant. Turnover. Brooks going the other way over Coupet scores. But listen, this is what I love about the G League. As you talked about, a guy his age playing in the WNBA, just trying to keep a dream alive. If he's playing in the WNBA world, we got a scoop. Daniel Oturu scores over the top of Bajanashvili, and that's a matchup we saw in the Big Ten for a couple of years with Oturu playing in Minnesota. Of course, Georgie at the U of I as Brandon Williams scores to the lefty lane. See, now right now you just got three guys standing around the perimeter yeah. while Pargo has the basketball saying, hey, man, pass it to me. Look what I found. Charles Matthews goes to the bucket. Everybody knows that's going to be a, a dead ball situation. He still goes up and tries to get it. There you see the dunk by Charles Matthews. And that's where, like you talk about, if you can offensive rebound and create some offense when your initial play or the initial player is struggling, a guy gets so focused on scoring. If somebody will come from the backside, they'll be able to block that yeah. pretty easily because he's only worried about his initial defender. Ethan Thompson going strong to the hole and was able to draw the foul. Shot clock at five. Pargo will try a long three, and that's short. Drell skies in oh. for the rebound, but knocked away by Carlos Silva. Come Our, back in June. <laughs> what? Right. Brandon Williams out front for the Skyhawks. Armani Brooks tees up a three ball. Oh. That's good. Matthews doing a good job pulling down the rebound. Woody City trailing by eight. So as we approach the three-minute mark, nice lob feed into Wheeler. He gets the basket on the other side. Did a good job of shielding the shot blocker with the... Henry Drell going straight down Broadway. Tries to go around the shot blocker, but Silva still got a hand on it. Head coach Steve Gansey calling out the play for College Park. I guess the play is you just shoot it from the top of the key, and when you can shoot it like that, that works out just fine, doesn't it? One dribble or no dribbles to get to the rim and then finish. Yep, and he forgot to put the ball down before he shuffled his feet. Ethan Thompson gets the runner to go and draws the foul to really put themselves in a position to succeed. Henry Drell short on his three-point attempt, and Silva buried Henry Drell in the post. He's able to get the finish and the go to the free throw line that time. And that just tells you right there how strong that man is. But what did you see? He, he took the ball up. Now Galloway lines up the three ball, hits it, and a foul on Jeremy Pargo. You'd never want to follow a three-point shooter. We've seen him time and time again on that screen go to the mid-range game, meaning that 10-12 footer with the one hand. Pargo tries to spin move, winds up turning it over, and College Park with numbers the other way. Pargo lines up a three, and that's offline. Armani Brooks will pull up from about 28 feet, and that is good. He is on fire. And Matthews done a nice job off the bench with 10, but points have been tough to come by for the home team. <laughs> Another three. Donovan Williams hits that one. Galloway working the pick and roll with Georgie. Nice right-handed scoop by Georgie. I wasn't sure where he was going with that. Took two <laughs> big steps. Trey Young, who's not really having a fantastic season, but sometimes the coaches will put guys in on reputation as well. Donovan Williams goes all the way on the fast break, gets the bucket and a foul. Faces up, baseline jumper, no good. Brandon Williams, the rebound for College Park. Georgie trying to sneak ahead, wow. finishes with the left hand. You like a big man who can run the floor. 
And one of the referees I noticed in Paris today, the young lady Natalie uh, Zabo, Zabo. Yeah. She's. I saw her working games all the time here in the G League. So she is a success story of someone who. who Somebody opened off to that the door right. over there by the loading <laughs> dock, didn't they? Now Wheeler will try a three, and he knocks it down. The big man, 6'9", 205. Running the show for Henry Domarsant and the Windy City Bulls. But I will say this, though, Mark. I, Step through a move. Nice you know, conversion I there. Missed Ethan a few Thompson. games here there for one reason or another. and With the Chicago Bulls, so it's the same kind of a challenge. The Bulls right now have a very guard-heavy roster as Wheeler scores inside. Liberty, after that last free throw, has... They're going to lose their third straight home game, which is something you hate to see. But once they sent all those players to Paris, they really put the coach in a tough spot. Yeah. But you know, layup by Pargo. The reason I bring that up about Dalen, I mean, I... Work the ball inside to Trice, who misses, and Henry Drell yanks down another rebound, turns it over. So even when he left the Bulls, he still had a couple productive years left in him. We are winding this one down here at Now Arena. At the end with a little scoop shot, adding one more bucket to the total. <laughs> ben Coupet Jr. for three off the iron, no good, and that's going to do it. College Park with an impressive all-around performance. They had six guys in double figures, three with over 20, and they get the win.